we are going to look at this concept of broken access control right, in the terms of cyber security. An access control basically serves as a doorway towards a particular system. Right? Like for instance, a basic one will be a login screen where you're supposed to log in. Okay. It plays two major roles. One is basically to restrict unauthorized user. So if you are not an authorized user, you do not have the ID password, you can lock it. Okay, it's a simple example. And it should also control authenticated user, which means if you are just a normal user, you lock in all right, using your own ID password, there are certain features that you are allowed to access. There are certain functions you are not allowed to run. Right, so you are controlled in this particular environment. Now, broken access control basically means the access control itself has failed to perform one or both of these basic access control tasks. Now, when that occur, when the broken access control occur, what can a hacker actually do? Well, firstly, most likely, the hacker will have access to unauthorized function, right? which means uh, probably that particular user is not supposed to be able to delete. But in this particular case, somehow the control fail and now the attacker can actually perform a delete function right. or access certain data that is not supposed to be seen by this particular user or this particular attacker. In some cases, the hacker could log in as a normal user but change his or her access right and hopefully privilege escalation which means lock in as a normal user but somehow able to change his own or her own id to become an administrative id or an administrative rights privilege so that could be very dangerous okay uh, there are many many ways to break an access control all right and here is just some example, not a total list. Some access control can actually be bypassed. All right, a uh, very big failure. Okay, probably a double escape. All right, was hit, and it was bypassed, or somehow the logic in the system or allowed some way to bypass the control totally, which means. I don't need to log in, I can already access certain things, okay, which is a very big failure in cybersecurity. Uh, certain key fields right, could be changed, okay, should not be changed, but it can be changed. Uh, we'll look at an example later on. All right. the, maybe the attacker or the hacker have a way to act as an admin user for some reason, okay, uh, we'll look at this example later on as well. Uh, there could be a replay or attack or a tampering of the JWT or maybe uh, cookie spoofing or, or tampering or replaying the cookie itself or the, especially the session cookie. There could be some hidden view inside the application but somehow the hackers found it and could change it or force browsing the web server all right now i know it's a bit hard to understand the entire concept so i'll just use two simple example i'm using examples that most are familiar with and uh, just imagine that there is a website called example.com and somehow in the process of working with this web application okay there is a particular 
parameters after the question mark which is the account id followed by hopefully is your own account so you can only see your own account all right so your account id will point to your account id but what if a hacker were to change this portion here can the hacker actually see another person's id or another person's account hopefully not all right but if that is allowed then the access control has been broken okay so hopefully uh, this is secured properly another example would be similar but this time is the application itself right there could be a application that is meant for the administrator example maybe the admin underscore app and no one is supposed to know this why right? no one is supposed to know this okay a normal user would not know that such an application actually exists but this information is leaked out somehow it's leaked out and a hacker would do direct directly to the admin underscore app is there a control there to stop the hacker from accessing it or using it or before the administration application were to run is there a way to verify or authenticate the user before it actually get activated so hopefully the necessary cyber security features or function will have stopped a hacker from proceeding further